Hello, I'm John Kneebone and welcome to Mainline Baits Clark Fishing TV and yes, you've guessed it, it's time for another how-to video where today I'm going to take a look at a presentation that's super easy to tie but then super effective when it comes to presenting wafting or perhaps snowman hook baits and that's the German rig. I'm going to show you a couple of hook bait variations that work with the German rig, starting with a pastel barrel wafter. Then we're going to need some coated braid, I've got a size 6 curve shank hook, we've then got some little rubber hook beads, I've got a medium sized kicker, I've got a bait screw for attaching the hook bait, and then we've got some tungsten sinkers to go on the hook link, and then finally an anti-tangle sleeve. I'll also be showing you a second hook bait arrangement using a 15mm bottom bait that's going to be balanced out by one of our little toppers and to attach these hook baits we're going to need some bait floss we'll be blobbing that with a lighter I've also got a larger size 4 curve shank hook a baiting needle just to help me tie my knots and the hook bait will be attached to a micro rig swivel I'll also be using a pulley tool for tightening down our knots and a sharp pair of scissors Okay, so we're going to start putting this rig together by taking our coated braid and what I've done is I've just removed some of the outer coating to expose the soft inner braid there about 5-6 centimetres, 2 to 3 inches and then we're just going to pull off enough hook link to work with probably 12 to 14 inches there and then we're going to take our hook Thread the hook link down through the back of the eye until we get to that exposed piece of braid and then we just want to line this up where we've just got a little short tag end we're not actually going to need that tag end and then we can begin to tie a knotless knot so I've got three four five turns there and that takes us down to where the coated braid begins again and we can take the hook link back through the eye of the hook and now we've created a knotless knot there to attach the hook bait and as you can see the coated braid begins right at this eye of the hook there's no break there's no soft section coming off the eye of the hook there okay so now we're just gonna pull out that tag end that was left over and just gonna blob that down And now that's the hook attached to our hook link and that stage is complete. So we can now take a medium sized kicker and then we just simply thread the kicker down the hook link. Brilliant little pieces of tackle these kickers, saves you having to shrink down tubing over steam or anything like that and that's that kicker in position over the eye of the hook it's going to help it turn really quickly and now what I want to do is wet down the hook link so I'm just licking my fingers and just rubbing that sliver down the hook link so that it's, it's wet and it's lubricated so that we're ready for the next step which is attaching one of the tungsten sinkers I've got the large size here and because the hook link is wet we can then attach these without damaging the coating on that braid so I'm just going to pull that onto the hook link and this is why it pays to have plenty of hook link to work with uh, just because you may put a bit of a, a kink in the very end of the hook link there when you attach that sinker and then I can just pull it down and now it's really important where we position this sinker we want it to be on the hook link there around about an inch away from the hook and now we can take our anti-tangle sleeve and we just thread that down onto the hook link like so and now I'm just going to choose the length of the rig probably seven to eight inches make a large loop so that I can begin to tie a figure of eight loop knot 
So I then make a second loop, I take that first loop under that second loop, and then I'm gonna take my baiting needle, I just find this a lot easier to do this way, and I can pull that second loop, well sorry, that first loop through the second loop and create that figure of eight loop. Now, just before we tighten that down, I'm just gonna wet my fingers again, just add a little bit of saliva to the knot, take the pulley tool, that's not gonna snap like the baiting needle could possibly snap if you was using that. Just tighten that knot down, just pull the tag end as well. And there we go, we've got a really strong knot there and a nice loop for attaching the rig to the rest of the terminal tackle. Just trim off that tag end and take the anti-tangle sleeve, thread it back up the hook link over that knot going to neaten everything up as well as push that rig out away from the lead arrangement and there we go nice neat loop ready to attach to a quick change swivel so the hook is attached with the hook link section complete so we can now move on to taking one of the bait screws ready for our hook bait attachment so these little screws they're just on a little ring swivel that I'm going to thread onto the hook like so couldn't be simpler and that's just going to be able to give that hook bait movement on the hook and then I'm now just going to take one of these little hook beads and I'm just going to take the hook and just find the little hole that goes through the center of the bead nick it on the hook so I can just pull it away from the remainder of the beads and then just carefully to begin with, you just, you know, you don't want to stick that hook in your finger. I can just work that around the bend of the hook and we're looking to position that round about opposite the barb of the hook. That's gonna give that hook bait enough movement without letting it come around the bend of the hook. You can now simply attach the hook bait by screwing it onto the bait screw like so. Really couldn't be any simpler and super quick. There we go, just snug it down. And that's our hook bait in position and the rig is complete and ready to go. As you can see, the kicker helps the hook turn quickly for a good strong hook hold. With the rig in the water, we can now see why it's so good at presenting wafting hook baits. With that pastel barrel wafter just sitting above a hook, laying flat on the bottom, poised and ready to react to the investigation of feeding fish. Now I'm going to show you that second hook bait arrangement and as the hook bait is a little bit bigger, I've used a size 4 hook and I've gone up to a large kicker. And just to give the hook bait a little bit more movement, I've just trimmed a little bit off the back of that kicker. Now this time we're using two hook baits, so we're gonna need our little micro rig swivel. We're just gonna put that onto the hook like so. And as we did before, we're gonna use another one of the little hook beads to just find the little hole, pull it off, and then just carefully just negotiate that bead around until it's around about opposite the barb of the hook, like so. And now we can take our hook baits. So firstly, I've got a 15 mil bottom bait. Just gonna take some scissors and just trim a little slither off one side of the hook bait just to give me a flat edge like so. And then we take one of our toppers, a nice pink one, give us a sighter as well as some extra attraction. And now I'm gonna take the bait floss, just trim away probably six to seven inches of the floss. Take the baiting needle and add that pink topper first, like so, and then that bottom bait so that that flat edge butts up against the flat edge of the topper just gives the presentation a little bit of neatness and now we can take that little piece of bait floss thread it through the end of that 
micro rig swivel until we've got two tag ends of even length and then we can now thread on that bottom bait and the topper pull that floss through both of those hook baits just find which is your loose tag ends and just carefully pull them through and we can pull that swivel just into that bottom bait and that would probably secure that bottom bait but of course we've got that topper and that's just only attached to that floss so what we're going to do is we're going to tie a quick and simple granny knot so just one overhand loop there and then we can just take a bait stop thread that in tighten down that first half part of the granny knot and then just tie a second overhand knot just to complete that like I say very simple granny knot tighten that down and now both of those hook baits are secured into position we can just trim off the excess of the floss grab our lighter and then carefully just blob down that floss just for an extra bit of security around the bait stop and there we go that's the topper and bottom bait securely in position as you can see just like the pastel barrel wafter this hook bait arrangement is balanced perfectly with the hook laying flat on the lake bed poised and ready to react to those feeding fish. So there you go, another easy to follow how to video. And it's great to see so many of you telling us in the comments box how much you're enjoying these videos and finding them helpful. If there's anything you'd like us to cover in the future, please put that in the comments box and let us know. So thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the notification button so you know when the next video is coming out. If you don't yet subscribe to the channel, please hit that subscription button below. It's really important. And if you'd like to watch more how-to videos, I'll leave links to those here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.